Nation. That is the focus of a new class at University of Chicago Pritzker School of Medicine, the first of its kind being offered to medical students, nurses, and now even pharmacy residents. Sarah Saratella is one of the instructors and director of communications at the Institute for Transitional or Translational, Translational. Translational Medicine. And she's a former reporter and licensed private detective. Quite the resume. I did that. Multiple hats, and they Multiple all hats. come together to help humanity. Well, when you talk about misinformation, what do you mean by that? Misinformation. It's information that's not true that's being shared and crazy. Science shows, MIT did research, that false information on Twitter, false stories, 70% more likely to be shared than true stories. And mm. it takes six times as long for true stories to reach people. And so what we're doing is giving researchers, scientists, nurses, pharmacists, everyone the tools to use these powers for good to combat the misinformation. Different from disinformation, because disinformation people have bad intent. Right. Some folks share misinformation unknowingly. You see that cool story on right. Facebook. You want to be the first one to share it well, with it your friends and right family. Well, it must be right if it's on social media, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. So you're talking to you, in particular, a former yeah. reporter. You are yeah. talking to them, doctors, nurses, pharmacy, pharmacy students, or to let them know that you've got to make it simple and plain to let people yes. know that forget that stuff. This is what you got to know. Exactly, Micah. You have to remove all the jargon, be simple, concrete, and use the power of storytelling. We do it all the time right. on the news. Right. And teaching them what makes a good story, pulling in emotion and conflict and what it means to their audience so that they're outside they of that. You need to be life. engaging. Exactly. Yeah, which and it, perfect for you as a former reporter because we are taught to, you know, write the stories uh, on a sixth grade level. We don't need all that extra like medical ease and things like that. We want everyone to be able to understand what's going on. And so instead of, well, give me an example of how some people should talk as yes. a doctor. So it's at an approachable seventh grade reading level we want to hit them okay. at because the National Academy of Medicine, of Medicine has mm -hmm. shown that health equity, health literacy are intertwined. You cannot have health equity without having that health literacy. Mm -hmm. So when you have 12 syllable crazy words, whether it's a diagnosis or a complicated treatment plan, having them be able to explain it in a simple story, in simple terms, but for fighting misinformation, it even pulls it to the next level. So when we're on social media, we teach them how to use infographics, mm -hmm. put together videos, talk in other ways to the public so that you don't have that super stiff, you know, right. 12 syllable word sentence exactly. that makes people scared and then they don't know what to do or how to use that How do you re-educate those medical professionals though who are out there already doing this yeah. for years? Yes, great point. So they all have wonderful hearts and they want to do it and they want to learn, which is so great. So what you do, you got to get uncomfortable. It's hmm. a little bit of unlearning. Some of the jargon that comes straight to their head, it's having them reframe and think about the person sitting in front of them and what matters most to them. And there are different elements that science shows make things viral, mm -hmm. as we know in news as well, yes. and catch on. And so we teach them how to identify that for that person they're trying to reach. Whether you have a certain hobby you like or there's something that you enjoy doing on the weekend, you turn that into a human story so that it's not about the medical stuff and the jargon. It's about that person who's in front of you. So who came up with this idea to do this? Yeah, great idea. So Vinny Aurora, Dr. Aurora is the dean mm -hmm. of the Pritzker School of Medicine. And so we've worked together on a variety of projects to help teach and train researchers. And at the Institute for Translational Medicine, we work with senior faculty as well. Vinny and I, during the pandemic, were talking. We saw all the misinformation spreading, and there were other groups like Impact for Health that were involved in. We saw this, and we're like, oh my gosh, we have to do something. Because yeah. it can literally be life and death when literally. people are sharing all of this stuff that could hurt them and their families. So it was trying to put out the wildfires and give everyone the tools to use the superpowers of what makes things viral <laughs> for good instead of evil. So how's it working, do you think? Is it uh, good Good results? Yeah, so far, so good. People have been able to have conversations with their patients, with others, and even physicians we've worked with have better been able to communicate and engage mm -hmm. the community. Because if people don't know or understand what something is or why they should care, they can't follow doctor's orders and they can't put that into practice. But Sarah, let's be serious. Like yeah. a lot of doctors don't go into it to be like communicative and be like buddies with the, the people. They go in to, to heal people. So how, you know, and quickly tell us how you change them from doing that. You know, I feel like 
just about all the doctors would love to have more time yeah. with patients. And so it's a matter of being able to quickly connect and build yeah. rapport, which is where some of that detective stuff yes, comes right. in in the field. You gotta connect with people <laughs> right. from a variety of backgrounds. Yeah. Um, but to connect and yeah. resonate, there are human things that everyone can everyone connects yes. to, whether it's highs, lows, life, death, love, laughter. And when right. you can weave that in, you can really get something I'm to engaged, stick Sarah, I'm engaged. Thank you so much. Appreciate <laughs> it. At the UIC Pritzker Med School of Medicine. University of Chicago. Pritzker School of Medicine, uh, I'm sorry. you got it. Yeah, that one. Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.